Are you starting to understand that the whole purpose of this life experience is that joyous expansion that comes from the new idea that is born within you? And that expansion is inevitable? And that the joyous part of that expansion is about how well you're keeping up with the expansion. In other words, when life causes you to desire something and you doubt it, that doesn't feel good at all, does it? When you've wanted something for a while and haven't figured out how to become a vibrational match to your desire, so you're introducing enough resistance that you're slowing it down, way down, so that it's not unfolding for you, it's a harder trip for you, isn't it? And then under those conditions, sometimes you say, mm, no, I'm not really excited about the desire that keeps being born within me. In fact, I try very hard to keep myself from wanting things because wanting things I don't believe is not fun. And we say, you didn't come into this physical body knowing full well that the contrast that surrounds you would inspire desire thinking that you wouldn't be able to keep up with it. You knew you would be able to keep up with it vibrationally. And you knew that as you kept up with your new desire vibrationally, that it would feel really good. What we've just said to you is the essence of everything that you want to know about living happily ever after, because you cannot stop the contrast that surrounds you. We know you try, but you cannot. You cannot stop the variety, nor do you really want to. You cannot stop the contrast. Therefore, you cannot stop the inspiration of the new, of the better, of the improved, of the more, of the expansion, of the evolution. You can't stop it. And since you can't stop it, you might as well go with it. And how is it that you go with it? You follow your bliss. You follow the good feeling thoughts. But sometimes it feels to you like there is not a good feeling trail. There are only multiple bad feeling trails. And we say that's only because you have allowed law of attraction to create a momentum responding to some things that you've been thinking about. But you can turn that around in a really short time if you want to. We are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you. We know who you are and we see it as our best advantage to you if we can remind you who you are. So much more than these physical bodies that you have dragged here. Much more than the clumps on the chairs that you think you are. You are source energy. You are extensions of source energy. And as extensions of source energy, variety inspires expansion within you. And when you follow the feeling of that expansion, so that the energy that creates worlds, the energy that is the genesis of that which you are, the energy that is always flowing to you and through you. When you allow that pure energy to flow through your view, through your perspective, ah, then you're so bright and beautiful. Then your timing is so good. Then you feel vital and alive in your body. Then as others see you, they wonder what your magic is. And it's odd that it seems like magic, but you know, magic only seems like magic because it seems to be experienced by only a few. It isn't magic. It's what all of you possess. You just have not been applying it as well as you might. So I'm going to give you a really short, quick, concise, version of how it all fits together. Are you ready? You were source energy before you came into this physical body and a part of you came into this physical body while a larger part of you remained in non-physical. As you're here in this physical body, you are exploring the contrast that surrounds you. And as you see what you don't want, you know right away what you do want and you send off a vibrational rocket of desire. A vibrational rocket of desire which precedes everything good that comes to you. As you launch that rocket, that rocket is held in what we've been calling a lot of different things. Have you been listening to us? We've been calling it a vibrational reality. We've been calling it a vortex. We've been calling it a vortex of creation. Never mind what you call it just know that there's a vibrational version of everything that you are becoming out there and that it is your work
work to become a vibrational match to that vibrational version and when you become right here right now as best you can a vibrational match to that vibrational version you feel really good that's what that feeling of exhilaration is that's what that feeling of passion is that's what that feeling of love and appreciation are when you are in vibrational sync with that vibrational rocket with that vibrational being with that vibrational existence that is real do you believe that it is real do you acknowledge that there is a vibrational version of you and so now this vibrational version exists but you're not usually a vibrational match to everything that that vibrational version is because that vibrational version keeps evolving because you keep living life life continues to cause you to have new exposure to new life it causes you to have new perspectives it causes you to launch new rockets of desires it causes you to become a new a new a new a new all day every day you become more the question that this gathering this workshop this conversation wants to ask with you and answer with you is are you keeping up with that vibrational version that is expanding and the answer for most humans is not really not really keeping up with it all that much and the reason that you primarily don't keep up with the expansion that has taken place within you and therefore the reason that you don't always feel really good even though you should always feel really good is because you are standing with such full awareness of the reality the full-blown see it hear it smell it taste it touch it version of reality that it slows you down from what's coming you're so enamored with what is but it's even more than just being aware of what is that is slowing you down and keeping you from your path of least resistance and keeping you from being joyously in alignment with that expanded version of you it's that you have conscious awareness for the most part of where you are in relationship to where you want to be and you feel compelled to explain to anyone who will listen why you're there I want to be over there but here is where I am over there looks pretty good but here is where I am here is where I am and here's where I've been <laughs> here's where I've been I've been here for quite a while there are a lot of others here with me none of us like it here very much <sighs> it's not our fault we're here you know blame mother I'd like to be over there but here over here is where I am and let me describe in infinite constant chronic detail about what it's like to be here <laughs> so as you practice that vibration of here 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 still contrast is causing you to launch there 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 but you're here instead of there and the crevasse the crack the gap between here where you've manifested which means you're hearing it and smelling it and seeing it and tasting it and touching it here sometimes is a distance from where you want to be and it feels to you like the gap just won't close like you keep launching the desire but the gap won't close well today we're going to show you how to close that gap <sighs> undeniably we're going to help you to reset your vibrational button we're going to help you to reclaim your stance on this ever unfolding path because you can't stand still do you know that life just causes you to continue to expand and if you think the answer to eliminating or alleviating the stress between who you've become and who you're letting yourself be is to try to talk yourself out of wanting that you're really on the wrong track because you cannot become less than you have vibrationally become Esther keeps meaning to put that on the disclaimer that you sign when you come in <laughs> you can't go back once life causes you to expand into that desire so we're just going to set the premise for this gathering here this is what we want you to know is our desire for you because we know that once you acknowledge this and once you accomplish this that you will be living happily ever after so the goal of your life will ask you do you think the goal of your life is to form desire nope because your life is forming the desire you don't need to set a goal for that life is just causing you to launch those rockets 
So what is the goal that you came with? You said, I'll go. Life will inspire expansion and I will do everything in my focused, creative, focused, creative, focused, 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 focused. I'll do everything I can to focus in the direction of my desire. So we're going to talk today about what focusing vibrationally means, what it feels like to focus vibrationally. Because sometimes when you focus with your mind, when you focus with your thought, when you focus with your words, you think that you are focused upon what you want, even though what's active in you is a vibration that's in exact opposition to what you want. So often you think you're talking about abundance when you're really offering a strong vibration about not having enough of something that you want. And so we want to help you to feel with clarity what vibrational alignment with who you really are is. Because so many of you, so many of our dear, beloved, blessed, physical co-creators are looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> and we want you to know where it is. So you got here, you're in this physical body, you're exploring and you're offering rockets of desire. And these desires are culminated. They have formed a becoming in what we have been calling a vibrational reality, a vortex, a vortex that is spinning, that law of attraction is bringing things that are like it to it. And so the desires that you have set into motion are in motion and they are expanding and they are yours for the taking whenever you find vibrational alignment with them. But there is a gap often between this desire that you have launched, that you've put pieces in a little bit at a time. Some of it was there when you were born. Some of it was a trajectory that you set into place even before you came into this physical body. But there is a vibrational version of you that is vivid and real and calling you and everything else that is a match to it, to itself. Law of attraction is providing that powerful, important function. So here you stand in what we are calling your point of attraction in some proximity to that vibrational version. When you are up to speed with that vibrational version, what's in that vibrational version flows easily into your experience. When you are in vibrational alignment with your vibrational reality, the things that are in your vibrational reality flow easily into your experience. They flow in the form of ideas. They flow in the form of rendezvous. They flow in the form of impulses. They flow in the form of energy. They flow in the form of emotions. In other words, you feel at first you feel before you see or hear or smell or taste or touch the evidence of it. You can feel them flowing into your what we have been calling a lot of different things. Now today we are wanting you to accept that it is your point of attraction. It is your vibrational grid. It is your climate. It is your vibrational atmosphere. It's where you stand. It's the vibrational version of where you stand, where you stand. We want you to focus upon the vibrational version of where you stand. So let's say that you are a hundred thousand dollars in debt, maybe more, but we'll just be easy on you. And you would like to have a hundred thousand dollars in your bank account that is not assigned to anything. So there's a $200,000 gap between where you are in terms of reality, in terms of what's manifested, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, spend it. <laughs> and what's in your vibrational reality, which is a vibrational currency that we cannot even begin to describe to you in terms of its value. We know you want the stuff you can spend. We want it for you too. But there's a gap. And in this example, a $200,000 gap between where you are and where you want to be. Well, it is unlikely that in this day that you are going to close that gap and that $200,000 is going to be in your bank account. It's unlikely that that is going to happen today. And don't write letters to Esther about Abraham being pessimistic. It's unlikely <laughs> that that manifestation is going to happen today. But what you can accomplish today, you can accomplish the vibrational shift today. You can accomplish the difference between worrying about it and feeling stable finding your vibrational financial footing. You could do that in a minute or two or three or five or 10. You could do that today. And if we can convince you that this closing this gap, that it is a vibrational gap and that it is emotionally indicated and you will set as your intention to close that vibrational emotional gap and that you will care about how you feel, 
then you will be on your path to being and doing and having anything and everything that you choose. Because this is for sure.